Hi guys, I'm Helena from Information Planet here. I'm on the Gold Coast office with Karina from Entrepreneur Education. Hello everyone. <laughs> so today we're gonna talk a little bit about the wall and floor tying course. So the first 30 minutes we are gonna talk about this course, about the job outcomes, intake dates and all the questions that you may have. And after 30 minutes around, we're going to have Claudio from Seven Migration to explain a little bit more for us of how we can get a possible Australian residency with this course. So I just want to let you know that Information Planet, uh, it's a very big agency here. Uh, not only in Australia, we are in 13 countries around the world. We have more than 50 offices a lot of offices in brazil and europe here in australia we have offices in melbourne sydney mainly adelaide here on the gold coast brisbane so plenty of offices so you can go and talk to a educational agent and ask your questions this month we have a very nice promo as well the madness month so check with your educational agent in your agency. Hello everyone, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the invitation, it's a pleasure to be here and let's talk a little bit about of our tiling course that we offer at Entrepreneur Education. So I have some questions here for Karina and guys if you have any more questions please just put here on the comments, they are open for you. Um, Karina, could you please tell me a little bit more about Entrepreneur? Yes, sure. Uh, well, Entrepreneur um, was founded around six years ago here on the Gold Coast. Um, and we started offering uh, business courses. The idea of the owner was to create a school um, for you know students like more hands-on for students where students could have the opportunity to learn like the real life mm -hmm. how you know real life is not just you know uh, study with books and you know um, the old way you know uh, that the, the schools deliver the courses mm -hmm. so he created entrepreneur education with this idea of like more modern way to teach students international students so we started offering business course and then we opened other courses like leadership and management we opened um, project management then marketing design graphic design uh, fitness um, we have also tiling uh, we have a photography course we have lots of courses and the newest course we have at the moment that was just opened like a week ago is painting and decoration so we have uh, many options for students for different areas so we cover like basically you know lots of you know areas for students which is great uh, and yeah, so that's entrepreneur. We are that's we are cool. located uh, in Surface Paradise, the you know the heart of Gold Coast. Yeah, is a very good location. Five minutes walking from the beach, and um, and, and yeah. it's really close to the agency here as well. So yes. sometimes if I have a student who wants to join the courses at Entrepreneur, like I did today, yes. <laughs> I just call Karina very quickly, and then she's always there and she's responsible of the Brazilian market as well so today we had a student who went there to understand a little bit more of one of the courses and it's just walking distance and also for the students who are on the Gold Coast at the moment it's really nice to know that the school is located on a place that they have um, uh, spots for the car as well yeah. so it's really good yeah there is a car park there where students can park the car and there are lots of restaurants around supermarket it's a very good location for students and yeah so this school is amazing it's a brand yeah. new school um it's like very beautiful the atmosphere is amazing the teachers are great and yeah it's a 
is very good for students. Yeah, we do have very nice feedbacks from them. <laughs> and that's Karina, great. please uh, tell us a little bit more about the certificate tree wall and floor tiling. Uh, well, the certificate tree in wall and floor, in floor tiling is one of uh, the courses of the Faculty of Trade. Uh, and the students, they will learn how to interpret plans and specifications, use tiling tools, equipment. Um, well, it's basically a very hands-on course where the students will learn about this industry, which is like an amazing industry in Australia at the moment. We know there are lots of you know, new buildings, constructions everywhere. Uh, so it's a very good career opportunity for our students. And yeah, it's at the moment one of uh, the most popular courses we have for international students and also is a great pathway for the 485 visa and for, uh, for the PR visa as well. Uh, so yeah, it's a good option for international students who are planning to stay in Australia, apply a PR in future. Um, and yeah, so it's a, it's a very good option. That is good. For students who like the trade field. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, so what would you say that are the job outcomes for this course? So if they do this course, which kind of jobs they could have? Well, there are lots of options uh, for students to work with, uh, especially with, uh, they can work with uh, building, um, work with buildings, new houses, new commercial buildings, uh, also renovations. This is the good thing about this course. It, they, the students, they don't depend only on new buildings, you know, they also can work with renovations and renovation buildings um, and yeah I think that's the main thing of this course they have options they have not options only with new course in uh, new buildings they can work with the renovations and this kind of things as well that's yeah. nice yeah. yeah and then what what do they learn at school how well they? well <laughs> they learn skills um, uh, in tiling and design with tiling and how to make certain part, uh, patterns with the tile, the tiles. So, uh, basically that, yeah. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. And with your students, would you say that this course is mm -hmm. a, like a popular course at Entrepreneur? Yeah, uh, actually it's popular because, uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, this industry is growing a lot in Australia. Uh, there's a lot of jobs in Australia with this trade industry. They are very well paying as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a good pathway for uh, other visas. So that's why it's popular, very popular at the moment. Yeah, so we all know that most of the people who are in Australia at the moment, mm -hmm. especially now after everything we've been through in 2020. Yes. So people want to try and stay here in it's becoming more popular this kind of course yeah yes. I can feel that yes. here as well yes. yes and could you tell me some examples of subjects that they learn at the course like is it more practical more yeah actually classes? actually this course is very practical uh, that's why we have face-to-face -face classes um, mm -hmm. and we have actually every single unit like most of the units actually they are like uh, they have theory assessments and practical ones. Uh, the theory ones, they are delivered at Entrepreneur here in Surface Paradise, mm -hmm. and the practical ones, they are delivered at Shed 101, which okay. is like, an, it's like another place, uh, but the students, they can, they, they can do the practical classes over there. So mm -hmm. it's once a week they have theory class, and the other day they have the practical class. Okay, okay, got it. And how long does it take to graduate? Two years. Two yeah, weeks. actually, it's nine to three weeks. Nine to three. Uh, yeah, so it's the minimum required for the four uh, eight five visa. Oh, so it's like cool. two years. They will learn like everything from scratch. <laughs> that is great. From basics. And how? So if I have a student that mm. comes here at the agency mm -hmm. and they are totally, you know, trying to find a course that is right for them, mm -hmm. how would I recognize that? they are the right person for this course? What would you say? Well, um, students that like the trade field, they like labor, uh, they will love the course because it's all about this area. So I think it's like mostly for this type of students that are working, uh, looking to work in construction in like the trade field. 
uh, as a labor and uh, and yeah so uh, there are this is like a very popular course for you know international students at the moment that is good yeah. so we just got one question here mm -hmm. so Romano sent what means practical classes well practical classes you the students will the student will literally um, uh, like like it's like a hands-on class you know like students will learn uh, how to how to do the practical part of the theory they've learned in the school so uh, they will like they will do like the um, everything related to the tiling course you know so it's like hands-on is the hands-on part of the course where they will practice everything they've learned in class yes. so mm -hmm. when yeah so they will be like ready Uh, for the you know for the industry f uh, to work when they finish the course they will learn everything like the theory part and the practical part yeah so basically I think guys what you will learn in a course like this like you will actually have the tiles and you go there and then you have the measurements and everything that yes. is needed to yeah. do the job and also mm -hmm. work and help safety as well which is something really important in Australia mm -hmm. and Okay, so I have another question for Karina. Yes. So many questions. <laughs> How demanding are the courses? Well, the students they are. ask about this all the time, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the classes are like uh, from two to days a week, and as I said, one day is the theory class, uh, mm -hmm. and the other day is the practical class. Uh, the thing is, we also have the collaborate sessions where students they can. Uh, attend if they need more support from the teacher uh, sometimes the students if they miss one class uh, they are not able to come into class one day they can attend the uh, collaborate session okay. uh, students they can find um, the timetable of the course on in our website and we have the timetable of each course there mm -hmm. and they can see like what days of the week so uh, the course is like divided in two stages so we have the beginners first and it's like different dates of the advanced class so the course is basically divided in two stages and uh, but both stages are twice a week one day is the theory day is the theory class and the other day is the practical class and do they start the practical <laughs> classes straight away like as soon as yes. they oh, okay yes, that's so really nice yes, yes yeah yes. Yeah. Because some courses, if you start on a trade course, sometimes you're going to have like 10 weeks or more just doing theoretical classes and then you're going to jump to the practical. Yeah, so no. I think it's really nice to go straight yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, in this case, the students, cool. they have to start from beginning to do the practical classes. Yeah. Oh, so, great. of course, they have the safety units first, mm -hmm. so they can go to the practical, but it's still part of the course, like since the beginning, you know, they do the practical class. That is nice. Which is good because they wanna, you know, yeah, they, they wanna, wanna learn. start, they wanna learn and everything. They yeah. like lots of students, they wanna start working in the same area once mm -hmm. they start the course. So it's, it's a good way to tell, you know, uh, to the company as well, I'm started the course, I already know sure. how to do it. So yeah. yeah. That's nice. And yeah. then so we got one question here. So what is the price? Well, on the course yes, at the we, moment. we have different prices for onshore and offshore students. Uh, I need to double check because we have at the moment a special promo. That is good. Yeah, I just need to confirm here one second. Thanks, guys. Oh. You're being amazing. Love mm -hmm. these questions. <laughs> yeah, for onshore students, the students that are in Australia at the moment, because we have different prices for offshore. Mm -hmm. students depending on uh, the market but for onshore students the price is 14,000 for the two it's years a really good yeah price, it's a guys. very good price yes. 14,000 like in two years is very cheap for like a professional for a trade course, course. Like this, and yes. also you need to remember that this is a course that can lead you to Australian permanent residency yes. so yeah it's a really good price and also they have a very nice structure as well so yeah i'm a really fan and mm -hmm. then so we got another question how long is the course oh so we answered that that one already it's 93 weeks which is almost two years and how many hours of practice do i have to do so do they have the work placement yes this is like a very good 
thing about entrepreneur because most of the schools is students they have to 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 work in a different place to complete the vocational um, vocational hours at entrepreneur we offer the hours in our one-on-one shed okay. so the students they can complete the 360 hours mm. during the course okay you know cool. so it's great so we offer this to the students that's why we have you know the partnership with one-on-one shed okay. so we shouldn't they do the practical classes there but mm. it also uh, it also count as um, uh, the voca- for the vocational hours, the okay. 360 hours. So could you just explain a little bit more about this one-on-one shed? Like, mm-hmm. what is it? Well, one-on-one shed is like a partnership that we have uh, for where students, they can do the practical classes there. So is uh, we have, like, in our website, you can go there. We have pictures and lots of informations there. You can also find more information in our in our Instagram. Uh, we have actually now a brand new place uh, for students to do the, the the practical class. The one on one shed is moving to a new place, okay, cool. to a bigger place, mm-hmm. uh, because now we have the painting and decoration course, and the practical will be in the same place. Okay. So we have like it's a it's a very big place where students they they can do like the practical. Uh, classes there and then so this work placement that they do at 101 is like guaranteed so if guaranteed. they do the course they will guarantee yeah. so mm-hmm. guys that is a good one yeah. as well mm-hmm. and then i do have another question about it so it's included on the program the work yeah. placement it's 360 hours included which on is the price as well it's included on the price yeah and then they work like it's a non-paid, non-paid one paid, right yeah, so yeah. you're not gonna be paid for this one but of course you can always you know find a job a paid one and get your hours to complete and get your certificate right yeah, yeah exactly cool. yes 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 that's exactly. nice yeah. so prices on the gold coast yeah they are always affordable yeah <laughs> i agree <laughs> come to the gold coast guys. Yes. Uh, so okay entry requirements for this course mm-hmm. Well, the entry requirements uh, are English, upper intermediate. Uh, so if uh, the student never, like let's say some students, they never did an English course in Australia. So mm-hmm. they can do our placement test. Okay. Um, and also uh, the academic evidence, so minimum high school. Um, and the other thing we request is uh, the math test. Oh, it's yes, a very easy test, mm-hmm. uh, but the students, they have to do this as in, uh, entry requirements. So. Why would you say that they need to do this? Is it because during the course they're going to learn some kind of yes, math as well? Yes, yes. they have to mm. know how to, le- how to read, you know, uh, the project and everything. So calculate. that's like, yeah, calculate so, yeah. the areas. If you don't like maths like me, maybe <laughs> this is not the course for you. No, but they will learn. They will learn. <laughs> they will learn. Okay, that's good. It's easy. And then with the, um, the placement test, so you mm-hmm. said... Uh, do you need uh, the student to go to school to do the placement test? Or well, how does uh, it work? well, um, we recommend students to go to the school, but they can also uh, go to our partners as well. If we have a partnership with an agency, which is the case with Information Planet is one of our main partners, they can come to Information Planet office and do the test here. Because I know Good. they will supervise the students. I'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah. Would you say that this is a course only for men or do you have girls doing the course as well? Uh, well, actually, uh, the course is designed for both genders, but to be honest, majority of our students are males. However, we do have a few females in class, okay? but. Um, Recently, we opened a painting and decoration course, which is more popular for girls. But we do have some girls doing um, the tiling course. But you know, like it's a it's a course that requires um, like a physical effort. Okay. So yeah, you have to be aware of that. That's Ladies, good. you have to be strong. <laughs> have to be strong. That is good. Yeah. And do you have? Would you Would you be able to tell me, for example, these girls that you have, mm. uh, are they working? Do you know if they, you know, actually, was easy well, for them? well, to be very honest with you, we had a, like our 
our first teacher of tiling at Entrepreneur, like he's he has like a tiling business. Okay, cool. Uh, he owns a tiling business, and his wife works for him. And he said that she was the best employee that he had. He always had because we yeah. are very, uh, you know, um, we pay attention we, to yeah, details. We, mm -hmm. every single detail. We are very perfectionist. Yeah. So uh, actually, he said that he prefers to hire woman than you know oh, the men yes. but uh -huh, you nice. know like it, it depends of course we have like lots of guys they're very good in what they do but it's like as i said it's for both genders so it depends in like what you like sure. but i have to say that it's more popular for you know for guys for guys yeah 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 but you know girls we can always do whatever we, we can want. do whatever <laughs> we want same <laughs> as i imagine we have uh the automotive course at imagine and it's very popular at the moment for ladies lots of girls doing that yeah, girls it's from so England. interesting. Yes, yeah. yes, it's very popular for girls from England and other countries. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And what about the assessments? The mm -hmm. you know everybody is just so worried about assessments. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit. Well, uh, I don't have like uh, at the moment I don't have students like struggling with the course. They like they can do the the, the theory classes with the teacher, uh, mm -hmm. teaching them and helping them with the assessments. Uh, we have very good teachers uh, in the school. Uh, they are very supportive with the students. So uh, we don't have students like having problems with that. If they go to class, they uh, to, uh, for both theory and practical class, they will learn like you know easily. So it's not difficult at all. But the students they have to be committed and they have to go to the class. Sure. Yeah. And about the teachers, so do you have like one teacher for theoric and other mm -hmm. for practical? Is yeah. it the same teacher? Well, some uh, it depends on depends on the unit. We have at the moment two different teachers. Okay, mm -hmm. one of them they do both uh, theory and practical, and the teachers they are profession uh, they are professionals from the from trade industry, and they have lots of experience uh, to share with our students. Oh, it helps them good. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really really yeah. important so then you were talking about intake dates mm -hmm. uh, so it's possible to find the intake dates on your website or yes on the website you find um, the preferred start dates mm -hmm. but in fact we can accept we can accept the students starting any Monday any so Monday. any Monday yeah yeah Guys, this is something really important as well because sometimes, uh, as you are probably aware of, when we are a student in Australia, when we finish a course, we can't stay more than eight weeks without a course. And sometimes, if you have a school that is not so flexible as Entrepreneur is about these intake dates, it's hard for you to start the course that you want and then you need to start getting like some IELTS preparation classes Sorry. <laughs> so, coming back here. Mm -hmm. So, you need to do some other courses just to fill the gap. So, it's really nice that they can have these intake dates every Monday because this is going to be easier for you. Mm -hmm. So, we got another one. What is the payment plan? Yeah, we have monthly payment plan. I know that some, um, some cities uh, in Australia, they do like per term. We also have the option... For the students to pay per term but the most popular way to pay the course is like monthly the payment plan so we usually for onshore students we require 10 percent of the tuition plus extras which is uh enrollment fee and material fee to issue the coe and then the students they once they start the course they go uh to the payment plan uh, for the wall and floor tiling, the payment plan, if they pay 10% in advance, the payment plan is around like $600 per month, which is very affordable. Very affordable. Yeah, yeah. And about these materials, what is included in the materials? For well, because we have the 101 shed, well, of course, it includes uh, the clothes, all the safety uh, stuff, and uh, and includes like all the materials they will use during the, those two years of course okay. at Shed One Hundred One, which is a lot of material, 
a lot of tiles and everything, like all the materials to cut, you know, okay. the tile and this kind of thing. So it's mm -hmm. a lot of material. This is really important. Yes, yes. Yeah, and then, so if I want to apply now for this course, how much do I need to pay? Uh, so you said like the 10%, right? Yeah, yeah, for 10% yeah, okay. is like if the course is 14,000, it's 1,400 plus 215 Roman fee and the material fee is $750. That is good. Yeah. Another question. Is it easy to find a job as a tiler on the Gold Coast next to studies? Yes. I would say that, I don't know, I don't want to say any wrong information, but I, I'm always in contact with the students. And, like, I think that everyone that I know is working in the industry at the moment. Everyone. Because, like, um, there's lots of jobs. Lots yeah. of jobs uh, in this uh, industry. At yeah, the I do have some stu students here at the agency that they do this course and some other trade courses. So I just want to be general at the moment, but also for the tiny one, I don't have a student that is not employed at the yeah. moment. Actually, they are working maybe like in more than one job, yeah. to be really honest. Yes, yeah. and also like it's like, as I said before, it's very well paying. So they can get like a good money <laughs> yeah so yeah. there is a myth i would say about the gold coast sometimes yes, um people totally. just think that if they come to the gold coast it's gonna be hard to find a job that's what they told me when i was coming to australia they said wow why are you going to the gold coast it's so hard to find a job there and guys really it's not hard at all yeah. so there are plenty of jobs on very different areas so even like if you're doing totally different courses you will find a job yeah. so don't worry about it and Gold Coast <laughs> is growing a lot and it's growing so fast yeah so there are lots of jobs around here yeah for sure and then so guys I wanna thank, thank Karina you. thank for coming. you and if you guys uh, have any extra question if you guys wanna talk to me uh, you can go to Entrepreneur Instagram. Uh, you can send a message by like direct message, and I'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> yes, and if you are around the Gold Coast, you can just come and talk to me or the girls here at the agency. And if you are somewhere else in Australia, you can just go talk to your agent. And if you wanna then come to the Gold Coast to do this course here, more than welcome as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, Claudio. Hello, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good, good. I was listening to your conversation with a uh, with the school representative. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Very nice. know a bit about the course now, about this specific one on the Gold Coast. It is, yeah. It is quite a good option, actually. Uh, it's good. Uh, this is what I like about Queensland. Queensland has so many courses, so many options, so students can choose to study whatever they want. It's something that are not available in many other states, and I wish all the states had the same course options as Gold Coast and Brisbane do. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. We do have options, and it's really nice to talk to you, to see you again. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. <laughs> Long time, huh? I yeah, I really want to ask you, so we were just talking about this wall and floor tiling course. How mm -hmm. is it to, get a, to try and get a permanent residency with this course? If I have this course, am I eligible to apply? Well, it's not so simple as just being eligible because you're taking the course, but obviously it's one occupation that leads um, to permanent residency, right? So when you, when you study the course, you will study towards being um, a professional wall, wall and floor tiler, uh, which is on the medium long-term list. So it's a great opportunity, it's a great option, it's a good, good, very good pathway to migration um, in general. But uh, we also have to like, check many boxes before a person is eligible to become a permanent resident. Um, at this moment, um, there, there aren't many good options for migration uh, because of the pandemic and everything, but one for Tyler uh, historically is a very good option. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. And then, so would you say, is there many, like, 
a very big difference between choosing a different trade course than the wall and floor tiling? All, all, all trade courses are basically the same pathway. It's usually a two-year course, and then they progress to the graduate visa for 18 months, in which they have to work for at least 12 months in their trade. So they do that to complete the job-ready program from TRA. Um, and from that moment, they get a skills assessment to apply for a skill visa. Uh, it, it is the same process for all the trades, regardless if it's painting and decorating, wall and floor tiling, carpentry, um, uh, any other trade, uh, commercial cookery, they always have the same path. So a two-year course, graduate visa, one year working and skills assessment to apply for the graduate visa, for, for the skill visa. Uh, the only difference is to check if they trade is available on the state, uh, skill occupation list on the state they have, where they have studied or, or they have been working. Okay, that's, that's nice. And then uh, would you say that if I do only the certificate three in one wall and floor tiling, would be enough to mm -hmm. graduate and then try a PR? Or would it be better if I could package with another course? Uh, I was checking the website for uh, the Entrepreneurs uh, Institution and their course is enough because oh. they have the minimum uh, weeks in Krikos. They have 93 weeks <clears throat> and the minimum was 92. So if they take the certificate three, it's already enough. They will be eligible for the graduate visa w in which they will be able to complete the job ready program. There are some uh, certificate three in wall and floor tiling that are just for one year. And because they have to study two years, sometimes the students will have to package with another course to complete the two year study. So they, the course will have to be related to tiling. So it will have to be something related to um, construction. So in states, for example, in New South Wales is very common uh, because the certificate trade there has only one year. But for um, entrepreneur institution, only uh, the course is enough because they have two years. Okay, yeah, I, this is a really important information. So uh, all the time, please tell me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, if you want to apply for a graduate visa and try and get a PR in Australia, you need to do this course for at least 92 weeks, is it? That's correct, that's correct. It's not any course that you can study to be to be eligible for the graduate visa. This is something many people uh, get get wrong. Uh, you have to study a course that leads to an occupation that is in the medium long term list and you have to study related course for at least two years. So this course covers everything because the occupation is on the medium long term list. It has two years and you don't need to package with it, with any other course and you have to match the how how they relate so it's just one course you study that certificate three and then you can already apply for your graduate visa perfect that's great and could you please just explain a little bit for us how are the steps to get this pathway with the wall and floor tiling sure yeah first you have to uh study the certificate three uh, which has the minimum duration of two years, 92 weeks. So it's great. Perfect. And you must, during the course, you must do at least 360 hours of work placement, regardless if it's included in the course or at your workplace that you, you find a job. Uh, and the course also includes that. So this is good because you can do the work placement during the course. And when you complete the work placement and the course, you need to reach a minimum competent English on, on, on IELTS or PTE with a minimum band score of vocational. Uh, let's talk in English scores, six uh, average with a minimum five on each band. So then you can apply for the graduate visa. It's when you are- General on IELTS or academic? General. It can be general or academic. Most people will go for the general, especially trades because it's nothing academic, it's all hands-on. So it's uh, most 
people will go for the academic, for the general, sorry. So they will have to reach uh, competent English on average with a minimum band of vocational. So six on IELTS on average with a minimum five. So when they complete the course, they complete the work placement and reach the minimum IELTS score, they can go for the graduate visa. And during the graduate visa, they will have to take, uh, they will have to complete the job ready program. Uh, when they complete the course and the minimum work placement hours of 360 hours, they, have com they will have completed the step one of the job ready program. And then they will, they will use the graduate visa for step two, three, and four. Step two, is 1,725 hours working as a tiler. So they will have to work on their trade to complete the step two for at least 12 months. That's 1,725 hours. When they complete step two, uh, step two, they will progress to step three, which is a practical assessment. So an assessor from TRA will probably go to their workplace or they will have to do like a phone interview uh, or a Skype interview, something like that, to assess they have if they have hands-on ability on their trade. And the step four is just bureaucracy, it's just papers and pay slips and everything to get the skills assessment. When um, the applicant has the skills assessment, we will have to check their point score to see if they are eligible for a skill visa. And we also have to check if they are eligible for any uh, state nomination or even the um, skill visa through the 1A9. So usually we check the state to see if the state has styling in their list. And if they do, what they, what they require. Depending on the state, they might require that you have, you must have studied on the state or you must, have, you must be working for at least three months, six months, one year on a full-time basis or part-time basis. Each state will be different. Uh, usually in Queensland, uh, the state requires three months of full-time work at, in a regional area or six months in Brisbane. Um, at the moment, the state is closed for application, but usually it's what they require. But because you have done the 1,725 hours of work placement during the graduate visa, you already meet the requirements, so you don't have to do anything else. So basically, study the course, work for one year, reach the minimum uh, point score, and let's see if you're already eligible for the visa, because uh, we have to check if the state will be open when we are finally ready. That is good. I have another question about the, you said that during the graduate visa, they need to work um, as a tiler, right? So do they need to work on TFN or ABN would count? Can they yeah. prove ABN? Yeah. yeah, I had clients who had worked on ABN and they were, they were still accepted. Uh, it's just that you cannot, you need really to have someone working above you with more experience because you during this one year you need to be working under supervision so if you are working on an abn you must inform tia that you have been working for such company on an abn contract but you need to say who is your employer and how experienced they are to uh, supervise you during this work so uh, it's not a matter of uh, being an ABN, it's not a problem, as long as you are working for a company and not just on an ABN by yourself and doing, you know, like lots of jobs for clients with no, no, no one supervising you. You can be on an ABN contract when you need a supervisor. Okay, and then so during the graduate visa, it's going to be around 18 months, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, yeah, nice. exactly. You have 18 months to complete the three steps, remaining steps of the job ready program. The longest one is the step two, which lasts for 12 months. After the 12 months, they still have six months to complete uh, step three and four and apply for their visa. So it's enough time. Uh, most people don't have any problem with that. Okay. Uh, so I just have a question here. Do I have to have any prior experience or study to join the course? 
no. Would be good for you if you could maybe try and get a job at construction first, just to be sure that this is something that you like doing because construction is not an easy job before you start the course, I think, because sometimes the student just, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this course because then I can get my permanent residency in Australia. But then they start and they hate the course. So I think it's nice to have a prior experience in this way, you know, but not because it's the entry requirement for the course. It is not. Uh, but I have a question here about this as well. So the student that don't have any previous previous experience if they just did the 360 hours and then the graduate visa so they would be eligible right they don't need to have like prior prior experience from brazil or something like that no no yeah they they, they will be eligible they don't need any previous experience uh because it's a vocational course it's a two-year vocational course and the vocational course is there to prepare you for the trade so even if you worked in finance in your home country and you want to start as a tiler here in australia this is the perfect course perfect uh, another question here what if i work in the abn for another person who has also only an abn is it possible to prove the work hours and get the 485 so this well, so you is about the graduate visa is it just want to yeah. make sure that the graduate visa uh, the thing is abn is a company so if you well not not necessarily a company but it, it, it is a business so if you are working under an abn you have your own business if you are working for another abn you are uh you you have like a, a between two businesses you have a contract right so it's the same for example if i work for um i don't know a company like a construction company the company also has an abn so i am under a abn uh, uh working and indirectly for that company so they if they write a letter saying yeah this person has been working for me and everything and they are they issue uh, invoices and, and everything it should be fine but we have to check how much experience this other person on abn has so if they have more experience with uh, than you and you are working with them it might be uh the case that you will be accepted but it, uh, the tia will will judge that the tia will have to accept your application they will say okay who this person is working with or who this person is working for and they will have to check if the business that you are working offers all the tools and requirements for you to use your trade so use the uh, knowledge that you gain through the course in your trade in your work experience so it's not me or uh, no one else who will be uh, ass assessing that but GIA okay and then so if we do the this wall and follow tiling course the only possibility is it through migrating you know independently or can we get a sponsor visa that's also a possibility. Uh, sometimes people go until the end of their graduate visa and the stage is, is closed or they haven't been invited for the skill visa. We can check their eligibility for a sponsor visa. The only thing is that a uh, sponsor's visa usually require uh, a minimum two year experience and people will have 18 months um, experience uh, during the graduate visa. So it's a bit tricky. We have to check how much uh, uh, school holidays they had after the course finished, how much they stayed on the bridging visa. And if they, if they're during their course, if they had been, had been working on the skill level required, we can count that as experience. So if by the end of the graduate visa, they are not eligible for any skill visa and they have at least completed two year work experience, we can check if it's possible to get a sponsor visa through the company that they have been working for. Okay, so you would say that maybe if this student, uh, during the 360 hours that they did during the course, would it be possible to count or just after the course was finished? We, we have to check on a case by cases. Uh, it's just because we have to check if they, have, if they had been paid, what were okay. their tasks, if they were really a tire or just as an assistant, if they were an assistant to a tiler, 
probably the experience will not be accepted. But they, if they were, were really working as a tiler and doing everything, all the tasks that a tiler do and being paid for their trade, yeah, so maybe we can, we can try to uh, assess that, uh, that experience as at the minimum uh, two years that you, the person will need. Plus, whatever uh, time they spent on the bridging visa, school holidays, we can always check how much experience they have by the end of the graduate visa. Perfect. We got another question. <laughs> how can I apply for the 485 visa working in the ABN for a builder who has only an ABN and he wrote a letter to prove my hours, my work activities, and I show my bank statement? Is it enough? It's very specific. We have to check, again, how much this other builder um, uh, has of experience, um, how established is their business, how much work they have been doing. It's very complex uh, and it's hard to just say yes or no. We have to check each one and say, what's your circumstances? What's your uh, work arrangements with this person? How much you have been working with them? How experienced they are? So then we can check if we can use that experience or not. Yeah, so in this case, it would be better just to send a message to Claudio and maybe make an appointment to get more information because it's really specific. It's always case by case. And uh, Claudio, about the possibility to try and get a permanent residence, is there really a difference in, for example, studying here on the Gold Coast because we are regional and then studying in Sydney, for example? What would you say about it? Um, it's always preferable to study in a regional area just because uh, you get extra five points. And most of people will, these five, five extra points will make a difference. Um, another thing is that uh, most states um, protect their international students. So let's say if you study in Gold Coast, maybe by the end of your course, Gold Coast will make special arrangements for international students of the state. Like many other states do, South Australia protects their students, Western Australia too, Tasmania uh, and Northern Territory, they have graduate pathways. So they say, okay, if you have, uh, war, if you have studied here in the state, I will give you preference in, in inviting you for the skill visa. Uh, Queensland had also some, something similar, but just for masters, uh, master graduates, for people who had studied master or PhD, they might make different arrangements because now they have closed for applic applicants. So, and if you uh, if you are still thinking of starting the course, you don't have to worry about what's happening now. You must worry about what will happen in two years when you conclude the course. Requirements must be all different. So if you can, if you prefer, and you, if you can work, uh, if you can study in a regional area, it's best because we get extra five points. And by the time you close, if you finish the course, we might check the stage is not giving preference to international students of the stage. So it might be beneficial. Oh, that that's good to know. And then would you say that there is a better state to study this course specifically? Uh, the, good, the, the thing about this course uh, and most trades, uh, they're not, not available in many states. Like I said, uh, Gold Coast and Brisbane are privileged because they have many options of courses. Uh, one floor tiny, if I'm not mistaken, is only available in Queensland. In uh, New South Wales, or I think uh, there's also a course there in Victoria or in Western Australia. I, I don't think it is available in, in places there where, where uh, there are good migration um, pathways. For example, Tasmania or South Australia, they don't have this course there. So sometimes we have to uh, assess the possibility of study in uh, Gold Coast or in Victoria or even Perth. And then when you get the graduate visa, maybe you move states and go to a state where the migration pathway is better. For example, here in Western Australia, we have many options of this course here, but we don't have on the list. Uh, in Queensland, you have options of this course, but the list is closed. Uh, in Victoria, the occupation is, is not on the list, but they have courses. So it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to match 
the course yes. to the state. So when we do the migration plan, sometimes I'll say, you know, like you are in, um, you are in Northern Territory, uh, move to Gold Coast, you study there. And when you finish the course, maybe you go back to um, Northern Territory and we apply there. We have to check uh, by the time the person finished the course, what's the best stage to migrate. That is good. Just one more question because we don't have much time now. So um, about the English, because I think this is one of the most important things to migrate to Australia. So how good does it need to be? Well, uh, the, this is the good thing about trades. Um, immigration or most states will not require you to have an excellent level of English. Uh, usually the competent English, the same one that you use for the graduate visa, it, it will usually be enough for you to apply for your skill visa. Uh, it can vary, uh, especially depending on your point score. So let's say you are over 40 years old, or you, if you uh, don't have like a bachelor's degree from your home country, or if you study in a place that are not, is not regional, sometimes you're losing points that we might need to uh, find points somewhere else. And English is always an option to increase 10 points by just improving one point in your English score. It's 10 points or your point score for visa. So uh, usually six on IELTS competent English is enough for most people. But if you are losing too much points uh, in age, qualification, or uh, study, we might have to recover that on English. Okay. I think I have time for one more last question, but really important. How much do I need to save to apply for a PR? Well, the PR uh, is a long process for most people, especially the ones that are still studying or they're still thinking about studying a course to uh, allow uh, to apply for the permanent visa later. But it, it will always start with the course fees uh, and student visa application fees. When you finish the course, uh, you still will have many costs, but maybe not as much as the school fees because you will have to apply for the job ready program. The job ready program altogether can come up to $3,000. Uh, you have to apply for your graduate visa. You will spend about probably a, something close to $3,000 again. And then um, you have to apply for like a state. And depending on the state, some states are free. Some states will charge $600, $700. Uh, if you need uh, assistance from the migration agent, the migration agent will charge their fees, maybe sometimes $800, $1,000. And then you have to finally apply for your visa, which can vary depending if you are using a migration agent, if you are including family, or in which state you are, you are applying. Uh, but altogether, I believe people will have to prepare to spend something around $15,000 but not all together at once because they will be applying many uh, steps. Thousand dollars since like applying for the graduate visa and then all the steps of the graduate visa and it, then the PR or the temporary residency. So fifteen thousand would be like an average of an average, exactly. Yeah, it will depend a lot, but uh, fifteen thousand, which. It is what I believe most people will spend. But the good news is that at the beginning, you don't spend as much. You just spend for the graduate visa, which is pretty cheap compared to everything else. And then you have one and a half years to just work and save money so you can prepare for when the higher course costs come, which is the application for the permanent visa, you are prepared. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, Claudio. It was nice you know, all this information. So now it will be easier for me as well when my students are here at the agency. Uh, it's always good to have this kind of information. Thanks for the partnership. And see you soon. Thank yes. you, guys. Thank you very Thank much, all of you, for all the questions, for all the participation. And soon we're going to have more lives as well about different courses. Thank you. Bye-bye.